Hello, John Britt here. Today we're going to do specific gravity of glazes or glaze thickness. Uh, and so what we ha there's many methods of doing that. Um, there is no prescribed specific gravity for each glaze because they have different proportions of material. So say someone, some had a, a lot of ball clay. That's going to absorb water differently than a one with a lot of frit. So you're going to have to have a different weight for each of those. And all you really do is write, you measure it and write it down. Uh, fire it, see if that's correct. If it runs too much, you, you add a little water. You know, if it doesn't perform right, you adjust it. And then once you get the number, you can keep that number for each glaze. Okay, so the main way that potters do it is like they will just stir like in this bucket. So here's a bucket of glaze. So they will stir and they will just look at how that's dripping. Uh, so that's one method. Another other method a lot of potters like, which I don't really recommend, they'll put their finger in there. And they'll watch how that uh, shows your uh, skin through there or your um, nail. And then they'll d d use that as the determining feature. I don't like that method because not all glazes are non-toxic. And so you start sticking your hand in every glaze and you got problems. So I prefer either to use... I really prefer the scale method, but I'm going to show you now the um, hydrometer method. So you, I have a small hydrometer so I can do, use smaller buckets. And basically I stir it, let it stop spinning. You don't want water on the surface because it could form a shield around there and make it an inaccurate reading. So I just drop it in and then I can see where it stopped. Some people will shake it a little. So I can see this is about 153 or something, approximately. Okay, so that's that. That is a method. Uh, another thing I do, like say I was just using this, I may measure my specific gravity and then I'd also dip a tile maybe. Because the main thing is the absorption of the tile the uh, length of time you keep it in the glaze and the firing, the, the you know, hotness that you do so it uh, runs or doesn't run. So this I may just dip this in here and then I'm going to observe how it's working, how it's dripping, how it's absorbing, see how it's drying. So I'm going to observe that and then I'm going to probably try to dip it again like 1001, 1002, 1003 approximately. And then I'll see, you know, the, the thickness of this ab amount that absorbed. Some people will use a needle tool and scratch it. But all of those are methods that go together to get the right glaze thickness. All right. So now say we do a scale. A scale uh, is, I got a 100 milliliter uh, here. And what I will do would be zero it. And then what, what, I'm going to show you, like, say I put in 100 milliliters of water. So, presumably, according to the theory, this should weigh about 100 grams. And that all depends, and so that's correct, that all depends on the, what's dissolved in the water, the temperature of the air, and the pressure that we're at. But we don't need precision like that. All we need to know is that approximately 100 grams and 100 milliliters of water... And if I, so if I put glaze in there now, I want to see what that weighs. And so what I'll do is just pour in 100 milliliters. Okay. And now what you have to do is look at the line. There's a meniscus that forms. And so you're going to have to decide if it's the top of the meniscus or the bottom. And so I usually do the bottom. So mine's usually a little bit above. But now my, my measurement is about 156 or so. Okay? So now what I would do is glaze something. And then I would uh, write down 156. I would fire it determine if that's a good thickness, and then proceed from there. So if it ran, I would add a little more water, weigh it again at maybe 150, and, and go from there. So there's another method you can use, which is if you don't have a graduated cylinder, some people will use like a syringe like this. So you can zero the scale. Then I will suck up some, I'll suck up here to 50 milliliters. 
and then I'm going to wipe that off and then I'm going to weigh this. So this is 77.1 so that's about 154, 154.2 or so. So that's pretty close. Okay so that's that method. Then another method uh, <laughs> This guy I know like this method. He would use this bottle. He would zero the scale, and then he would put in put in glaze until it formed a meniscus like this. This was Mike Koch from the Homer Lachlan. So you see how you get that meniscus. So that is completely full. And then he would write the number on there, 502. And then he always knew that that glaze recipe, 502 was his relative amount of weight in that bottle. So those are a bunch of methods for you, and uh, I hope that helps you. And I also want to thank my videographer, Cheryl Craigie, who's awesome. <laughs> <laughs>